Veterans know better than anyone else the price of freedom, for they've suffered the scars of war. We can offer them no better tribute than to protect what they have won for us. That is our duty. They have never let America down. We will not let them down. My name is Dorsey Lee, and I served in the Navy from 19 July 1951 till November 1970. I was in the Korean War and the Vietnam War. That means an uh, awful lot. I uh, know seven names this morning. And uh, one of them was one of my men. They, uh, they may be more on it, but I don't know them. That I went through training with and all. But seven that I went through training with, though. They told us in training that they would be, there was 80 of us in the class. They told us there'd be three of us not coming back. And they were right. Three didn't come back that I know of. Gunner's mate, working on guns. I uh, had experience working on the uh, USS Alabama. And, uh, I was a turret man on it, working on a 16-inch gun turrets. And uh, they was commissioning, well, he's putting a battleship in commission. When I was getting ready to get transferred to my last station before I went to Vietnam. And uh, I volunteered for the river pro boats because I didn't want to bid on that battleship and be on one of them turrets. They're dangerous. When I was about nine or ten year old, the, uh, I had an uncle that went in the Navy in World War II. And he came home wearing that Navy uniform. And I said, that's me. And when I turned, I turned 18 in June when I turned 19. No, 18. I turned in June and July I went in the Navy. They wouldn't sign for me going before I turned 18. So as soon as I turned 18, I went in the Navy. And I didn't like it a few times, but uh, everything can't be pitches for you. You've got to take the bad with the good. I figured uh, somebody needed to do it, and we needed many to do it as we could get. And at the time I went in, the draft was coming back out. And uh, if I hadn't went in, I got drafted. So I had one thing I figured I'd volunteer for the Navy and get what I wanted. That's a hard question to answer. It's uh, more or less how to stay with the job that you're willing, or doing right and do it right. And because uh, in the military, you don't do a bomb job, you do it right. Take care of things, be more productive. And I all the time now to run into problems that uh, I have a problem solving, I get Will to help me. And we had a saying, there, where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. What was like after World War II? So oh, was everybody was celebrating. Everybody. And uh, the Korean War, well, they, they pretty well celebrated on it. Yeah. And then the uh, Vietnam War, it, it was nothing. It's just one of them things, you get out there. Whenever I retired, November 70, I, uh, Seattle was in bad shape financially. Everybody's out of job. Well, no, no jobs was open, I put it that way. And I'd go around trying to get a job, and uh, first thing they'd ask me, you already got a retirement check coming in, what will you work for me for? And my answer back to him, same price that next guy will. And uh, stuff like that, it, I don't think they would do it uh, World War II. A veteran come out and say that to him. But uh, they kind of rough on him. Yeah. He was nothing. And uh, everybody knew it. The old military, they, everybody knew it. 
I think the best thing he can do is he's young, starting out as he's growing up, take and learn as much as he can and get as good of an education as he can and pick a good trade as they like and stay with that.